Today we will be discussing the Ubiquiti Unify Enterprise Wi-Fi system. Ubiquiti's models include the UAP, the UAP Long Range, the UAP Professional, the UAP AC, and UAP Outdoor models. I am currently running the UAP base model. It includes an 802.11 B, G, and N radio, a 100 megabit per second port, and it has a range of approximately 400 feet. Joining this base model are a long range model that enhance range to 600 feet, and then a UAP professional model that has a 5 gigahertz radio and supports 802.11 A, B, G, and N. It includes a gigabit port with standard PoE, and it has a range of 400 feet. The UAP AC model builds on top of the Pro model, and it includes support for 802.11 A, B, G, N, and 802.11 AC. It includes a gigabit port powered by standard PoE, and I believe it is at the top of the enterprise Wi-Fi system food chain at this point. The outdoor models follow, except they're rated to be mounted outside. Each of these access points supports 802.1Q VLANs, and you can assign up to four SSIDs per radio. Each support over 100 concurrent clients per access point, with some um, allowing over 200 current concurrent clients. They're all managed by a centralized unified controller, and that's what you're looking at right now. They support um, guest portals slash hotspot support, and they even include billing support, and you can charge most major credit cards. They support wireless uplink, so you can expand your wireless network without running wire. They support zero handoff roaming, so you can create a seamless wireless campus. The controller is able to report detailed analytics, and each of these access points automatically optimize their performance using proprietary multi-lane RF technology. Let's go ahead and log into the controller. Here you can see that I have exactly one UAP access point up and running. In the background you can see a schematic of the building that, or your campus where your UAP access points are located. This is the default um, schematic here. You can change it by going into configure maps and uploading your own um, map. I don't have one for my current building so I'm just using the default. You can um, show diff different labels such as the uh, details of your connected access points and your coverage area. Moving forward, we can look at the statistics tab where you'll see that I have one connected client and you can see the traffic being moved to and from that client. This also highlights your most active access points and your most active clients. And this can be useful to identify any abusers on your network. We can move to the access points tab where you'll see all of your um, currently managed access points. I only have one um, managed, so you only see my at one access point show up here. You can see all of the users that are connected to your network. I only have one connected machine, which is my laptop. It's a Lenovo Z570. You can see any guests on, on your network. I don't have that set up at the moment. And this is a summary of all guests and all logged in users. Moving towards the bottom of our screen, we can look at recent events. You can see that my access point was just connected. This is because I recently updated rules on my firewall so that it could actually connect to the controller software. The alerts tab shows any trouble um, problems or sorry, trouble that you've had in the past. And you can see here that as I changed the rules on my firewall, the access point was disconnected from the controller software. Moving on to settings, you can manage um, your Unify system. Here you can see where my controller is set up. You can turn the um, status LEDs on and off. You can upgrade your firmware. You can load balance between multiple access points. You can make your access point discoverable. And you can set it up so that it will send out um, alert messages to your email if you'd like. Moving back to settings, we can set up our guest portal here. We can add 
and control wireless networks from within here. I used to have a guest network set up. From here you can see that you name your SSIDs and you can assign them to a VLAN so they can be independently managed. For security, you can have no security. You can um, use WEP, which is no longer recommended. You can use WPA Personal and you can use WPA Enterprise Encryption. You can block devices and you can set up your admin settings here. The user groups are useful if you want to um, have policies that affect multiple access points or multiple sets of users. Inside the guest control, you can see that Unify includes their own access control. However, I like to do this through a firewall. And that concludes my presentation on the Unify Enterprise Wi-Fi system. I've been very impressed with the uh, with my Unify access point. It's been reliable and it complete competes very closely with the Cisco offerings, except at a fraction of the price. I highly recommend them.